tonight. Okay. Topic is last night's broadcast. I've only said it about 40 times. 520-333-4578 is the number. How many of you were surprised to hear that he wore a trench coat? They never mentioned that in the news. Just like the two students at Columbine High School in Colorado who did the same thing. Trench coat. But that wasn't in the press. And to be fair, it wasn't a black trench coat, but the trench coat mafia has nothing to do with black trench coats. It's just trench coats. Kipling Kinkle wore a trench coat when he went to the school to shoot the students. Now, that amazes me. It wasn't reported in the press at all. Why was he so enamored with this uh, Romeo and Juliet music that he put on and turned up as loud as he could get it before he left to uh, shoot the students at the high school? Well, they had a class in his English class uh, on this film. And can you imagine that? When I was a, a boy in high school, we had classes in English literature, but it was on the classics. And when we saw a film, it was a film that was made as close to the classic as possible. For instance, we watched The Tale of Two Cities and a couple of other films that were uh, really, you know, true to the intent of the author when he wrote the book. And they had a class on the modern Romeo and Juliet. With all this killing and murder and gunplay and... and uh, it, It's just... I've got to tell you, but I don't know if you've seen it or not. You should go rent the movie and look at it just so you'll know what's affecting teenagers because teenagers identify with this movie. He pled guilty to all the charges. So, of course, there was no trial. Went before a judge, pled guilty, was sentenced. No trial. Well, no trial means nothing comes out then, doesn't it? That's right. It's all fixed up. That's right. I mean, he could have had a, a good defense with those voices inside his head. Uh, and before a lot of you go off the deep end and say that I'm sticking up for somebody who murdered his parents and shot a whole bunch of children, I sincerely believe in my heart that that young man was just as much a victim and maybe more so than those people that he shot. Oh, yeah. I agree with you. Yeah. Not only that, that he, but he was used for a political agenda to destroy this country. And so my heart goes out to it. I wanted to ask um, if if there was any possibility that we're not looking at a man-made event, but a supernatural event. No. Well, there's a lot of people that would love for you to believe that. Well, it's it's very reminiscent of of uh, age-old descriptions of uh, demon possession. And I don't know whether I believe in that or not, but it's very similar to the way it's described. No, this this has nothing to do with demon possession whatsoever. This is uh, man-inspired, man-implemented, man-manipulated. It's all about bringing about the destruction of the rights of man and uh, put him under a one-world totalitarian socialist government. It's about getting the guns out of the hands of the American citizens. Are they really? And I think the worst thing that religion has done to the world. This is, by the way, folks, this is a, a premier Freemason. He goes on the Internet no, by, the, by the name of uh, Malleus Maleficarum. This concept of a personal devil is very, very harmful to people. Who said anything about a personal devil? Well, some of these... It has nothing to do with this. Some incident. of these shootings were, uh, were directed against prayer groups. This one man that called before... Mentioned demons. Yep. What about it? Well, why right. would God? Uh, you, you, you don't believe in God, so what difference? Yes, does I do no, believe in no, God. you don't. Who are you to tell me that? 
I've listened to you, called this broadcast and other broadcasts, and I've w I've read your posts on the internet. I know you probably. I don't even have a computer. Better either. better than you know yourself. Why, why would God create a devil? Does that make any sense? Who said God created a devil? Well, many people believe. You're arguing that. with the wrong person. Many people believe. You're that. arguing with the wrong person. Well, then you agree with me. No, I don't necessarily agree with you. Well, what do? I believe that people have a right to believe in whatever the hell they want to believe in, as long as they're not damaging the property or the person of any other human being. I don't care what it is. Well, these children that are going out and killing other children... ...are doing it because they've been controlled and manipulated by other people. Well, I think religion has to bear a lot of responsibility... You have nothing... ...for this concept of a personal... Really, really. Devil. I want to be someone else so I'll explode Floating upon the surface for the birds The birds The birds Shakespeare's Romeo and Juliet. 